reaching the age of adolescence. Introduction All living things grow and reproduce. However, in human beings and in many other animals, it is only after growing up to a certain age that reproduction can occur. There are many changes that take place in the body of a human, after which he or she becomes capable of reproduction. Adolescence and Puberty Growth begins from the very first day on which we are born. Growing up is a natural process. But after crossing the age of 10 and 11 years, there is a sudden spurt in our growth which becomes noticeable. Different changes take place in our body. Adolescence is that period in our life when our body undergoes changes that lead to reproductive maturity. Adolescence begins around the age of 11 and lasts till about 18 or 19 years. Adolescents are also called teenagers since this period covers the teens that is, 13 to 19 years. The onset of puberty is marked by the time from which the body starts undergoing changes during adolescence. Capability of reproduction marks the period of puberty. Physical changes at puberty You may wonder why some boys in your class have suddenly shot up in height? The sudden increase in height is the most conspicuous change during puberty. The long bones in the arms and legs elongate and make a person tall. The following chart shows the increase in height of boys and girls during adolescence. Here we can see that at the age of 11, a boy has reached 81% of his probable full height, while a girl has reached 88% of her full height. At first, girls grow faster than boys, but by 18 years, both of them reach their maximum height. The following graph represents the percentage of height in both boys and girls. All parts of the body do not grow at the same rate. Sometimes the arms and legs or hands and feet of adolescents look oversized and out of proportion with the body. The body of both boys and girls changes differently during puberty. The shoulders of boys become broader as a result of growth and they even become more muscular. In girls, the region below the waist becomes wider. Have you noticed that boys have a deep voice and girls on the other hand have a high-pitched voice? At puberty, the voice box or the larynx begins to grow. The growing voice box protrudes in the throat and is also called as Adam's apple. In girls, the larynx, due to its small size, is hardly visible from the outside. Boys develop larger voice boxes due to which they develop a deep voice. Many teenagers get acne during puberty. Acne results due to increased activity of the sweat and sebaceous, that is oil, glands. The sex organs in both boys and girls develop completely during puberty. In boys, the testes and penis 
develop completely. The testes even begin producing sperms. In girls, the ovaries enlarge and the eggs begin to mature. Ovaries start releasing mature eggs. Emotional and mental changes at puberty. Adolescence is a period during which a person's way of thinking changes. Adolescents are more independent and self-conscious than before. Adolescence is often considered as that period in one's life when the brain has the greatest capacity for learning. Intellectual development takes place during this time in most adolescents. Sometimes an adolescent may feel insecure while trying to cope with the changes taking place in his or her body. However, they should remember that these changes are a natural part of growing up and there is no need to feel insecure. Secondary Sexual Characters We know that the sex organs of both boys and girls develop during puberty. However, during adolescence, there are other certain features that help to distinguish males from the females. These are termed as secondary sexual characters. Let's have a look at a few secondary sexual characters in both girls and boys. In boys, facial hair begins to appear. That is, boys grow moustache and beard. They also develop hair on their chest. In girls, breasts begin to develop at puberty. In both girls and boys, hair growth is seen under the arms and in the region above the thigh, also known as the pubic region. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Between the ages of 11 to 19 years, a child enters the age of adolescence. This is the age when a child becomes capable of reproduction. The onset of puberty brings about various changes in an adolescent. There is an increase in height in adolescence. There is growth in reproductive organs in both girls and boys. The voice box in boys becomes enlarged and their voice becomes hoarse. Hair grow at various places on the body. Breasts develop in girls. Facial hair, that is moustache and beard, appear in boys.